الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومن والاه أما بعد Dear brothers and sisters We're going to shed some light specifically on the attention, the care, the efforts put in Morocco, المغرب, الأقصى about صحيح البخاري because we have beautiful examples about صحيح البخاري in Morocco Let me give you for example the story of the grandfather of the Alawites dynasty in Morocco, the forefather of King Muhammad VI, Al Mawla Ismail ibn al Sharif. When he established his army, 150,000 soldiers, he gathered them, he brought a copy of Sahih al Bukhari, he made an oath, and he also made them make an oath, suggested to them making an oath that they would follow the Sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, which was contained in that book. And he told them that he is a slave of the hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu in Sahih al-Bukhari and the whole army was known as Abid al-Bukhari, the slaves of al-Bukhari. Beautiful example and uh, the name is still circulated uh, and mentioned till today in Morocco. We have a uh, few other examples. King Hassan I, when he built his palace in Rabat, people make parties. The party he made was about Sahih al-Bukhari. The recitation of Sahih al-Bukhari was his party. Also during the peaceful march, King uh, Hassan II, he he ordered that Sahih al-Bukhari uh, be recited across Morocco from the north to the south and uh, it was recited and the result was amazing. The success of that uh, peaceful march uh, in 1975 and uh, the return of the Sahara to uh, its motherland, uh, to its cradle in Morocco. Chairs of Sahih al-Bukhari. In al qarawiyin there is a chair of Sahih al-Bukhari. Several scholars taught in it and there is a famous chair of Fath al-Bari even which al watasiyin uh, established in al qarawiyin There is a chair of Sahih al-Bukhari in the Fasi Zawiya. The Fasi scholarly family is one of the oldest scholarly family and uh, they did so many services to Islam, to the Sunnah and to Sahih al-Bukhari. And the Sheikh Abu al-Mahasin Yusuf ibn Muhammad al-Fasi was one of the main teachers in this. In Marrakesh, for example, uh, we find the chair for Sahih al-Bukhari in uh, al-Jami' al-A'zam. In Tarudant, in al-Jami' al-Kabir, in Tarudant, we find also a chair of Sahih al-Bukhari. This is like uh, almost in every aspect of life. Even if you pick up the copies of Sahih al-Bukhari in Morocco, you find gold, you find ornaments, you find luxury copies, royal copies. This attention was given probably to Sahih al-Bukhari, to the Lail Khairat, and to a Shifa of Qadi Iyad because these books all relate to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And one important feature about Morocco we will end with is Moroccans love Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and they don't hide their love for him and they love his family, his noble family. Probably since our great grandfather, my great grandfather, Al uh, Mawla Idris, uh, escaped from the Middle East and reached uh, Morocco and spread Islam in Morocco and established the Idrisi dynasty. So, Morocco is quite a strong hub, one of the strongest uh, fortresses of Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'a. Alhamdulillah. May Allah protect uh, Muslims all and uh, may Allah bring relief to all Muslims around the world. <laughs> Uh,